Um, so the wonderful Emma joins us now. Hello. Hello. How are you? You know, we're really good. Much better now, by the way. You look resplendent in orange. Look, it's a bright colour. I mean, it's early in Sydney, uh, but it's lovely to see you guys today. Actually, I've got a question about the orange. How did you how did you choose the colour for Emma Mimma? Well, we decided that we should definitely choose a colour that we love, and we love peach tones and apricot colours, but we did think that uh, those kind of words weren't useful for a preschool audience yeah. because they're a little bit complex. So we decided to go with orange, and also it's um, easier to see um, my sign language against this colour, ah. and so we've chosen this colour because of that. I see, but is it hard to write songs because what rhymes with orange? Nothing. No. <laughs> Nothing wrong with orange. <laughs> it, you have to do orange, 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 orange dress. Orange, 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 orange is something the best. I see. See, that's why you do what you do so well. Like, you know, you make it work. It's good. <laughs> I, I take my hat off to you here, what, what you're creating, because there you were on a salary, on a, on a big brand. How hard has it been to recreate a brand and, and build yourself up? It must have been so much work. Well, it's been a really interesting journey because I left the Wiggles in order to finish my PhD and we were doing a lot of research around sign language and dance and movement and how to integrate it better for a preschool audience. And so I kind of embarked on that and then out of some of that research, we thought we should present it in a way to see and if, if it's working and how can we integrate it effectively. And so we kind of created Emma Memma uh, towards the end of my PhD, myself and my my partner. And then it kind of took off without me finishing the PhD. And uh, that was tricky for some times at the beginning of this year, but I finally submitted my PhD. And so everything that's part of Emma Memma really is out of this research project. Oh, congratulations. How, yeah. How would you describe Emma Memma for people that want to come to the show? Um, do you see a lot of dancing, singing, obviously a bit of sign language? Yeah, that's exactly it. It's really a musical adventure, a musical and a movement adventure. And even though children go so well to music, it really is about how can we show music visually and integrate dance and movement and visual communication to give each family the, the tools that they need to communicate with their children. I come from a kids TV background. I did it for nearly 10 years. Ours was called Sticky TV. And what we did is we prided ourselves on hiding syllabus in amongst entertainment. How much science and, and is going into how you craft and create that content to not only enrich, but to educate children? A lot. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think that's the key, you know, children's entertainment that really has that great balance of education and entertainment really is that sweet spot. And I think, you know, everyone around the world has really experienced that with Bluey. And there's a real understanding of a children's audience in that show. And so even though Emma Memma is, you know, in children's entertainment, our audience is a lot younger. So we're really, you know, between the ages of about two and four. However, touring in Australia for the last eight months, we've seen children as young as one or six weeks old, the youngest we've seen. Wow. And then up at six or seven coming along to the shows and dancing. So it really does span a wider age group, but there's a lot of thought into what goes on on stage. Well, don't be surprised or freaked out when uh, the three of us in our 40s come and dance along <laughs> with you as well. You can't wait. So yes. it's Emma Mimmer's Twirly Tour heading across New Zealand. All the tour dates and everything you need to know because it's right across New Zealand. LiveNation.co.nz. Emma, congratulations. Bob, quickly, what's your PhD in? Uh, integrating sign language and dance for children. Oh, perfect. You'd be really Very good at that. Cool. Yeah, you'd be good at that. Yeah, no, fair enough too. <laughs>